The Tandem Heart Controller powers the system, provides diagnostic alarms during operation, and controls flow measurement. The controller incorporates redundant primary and backup control units to ensure reliable, uninterrupted operation. The controller should be plugged into AC power at all times to ensure that the batteries remain fully charged. Internal batteries may provide 60 minutes of continuous operation during patient transport to a critical care unit. Remaining battery life may be viewed on the controller touchscreen. The controller's display serves as the user interface to monitor and display system setup and operating information. The control panel has four major components. The start-stop button activates and stops pump operation. The alarm mute button temporarily silences the audible portion of an alarm. The speed control knob adjusts pump speed in revolutions per minute to increase or decrease flow in liters per minute. You can make selections on the menu screen with the control knob or with the menu button located below the screen. On the face of the Tandem Heart Controller, you'll also find the pressure transducer receptacle, the flow sensor receptacle, and the pump drive line receptacle. Refer to the procedure guide for more detailed setup and operating instructions. Infusate priming is critical to the proper operation of the Tandem Life system. Priming procedures must be followed carefully. First, power up the controller. This procedure will take approximately 45 seconds to one minute to complete. Do not interrupt the procedure by pressing buttons on the control panel. Allow the system to fully power up before continuing. The controller is ready for operation once the View and Skip menu screen appears. Select View Instructions for an on-screen tutorial of the setup procedure. Ensure that all lure connections are secure. Plug in the pressure transducer cable. Wait for the transducer status to change from calibrating to OK. And cover the transducer connector with the plastic boot. Hang a bag of saline infusate from the bag holder located at the top of the controller handle. Verify that the stopcock is off to the saline spike. Spike the saline. Fill the drip chamber two-thirds full and verify the infusate. To prime the lower housing, connect a 20cc syringe to the stopcock. Open the stopcock to the IV bag and fill the syringe. Priming the tandem heart pump requires two people, a person scrubbed or sterile operator in the sterile field, and a controller operator in the non-sterile field. The sterile operator then hands the ends of the pump's external communicating line and infusate line to the controller operator. The controller operator then connects the pump's infusion line to the bacteriologic filter at the end of the infusion assembly and connects the pump power line to the pump power receptacle located on the front of the controller. The controller operator turns the stopcock off to the infusion bag, open to the pump, and slowly injects 15 cc of heparinized saline into the pump infusion line to prime the lower housing of the pump. This will gradually fill the pump's lower housing. The controller operator refills the syringe with heparinized saline from the infusion bag. The sterile operator holds the pump with the inlet port positioned horizontally. The inlet port is marked with a blue stripe. The controller operator turns off the stopcock to the bag and injects the heparinized saline. The controller operator then presses the pump start-stop button and continues to inject heparinized saline from the syringe. The pump will automatically run at a speed of 7,000 RPMs for 10 seconds. The controller operator then turns the stopcock to 45 degrees in the all-off position while holding pressure on the syringe. The controller operator 
must maintain continuous pressure on the syringe throughout the pump priming process to ensure that air is evacuated. The controller operator then inspects the lower housing of the pump for air bubbles. If air bubbles are present, select Repeat on the tutorial screen and repeat the pump priming procedure as necessary until all air is removed from the lower housing. Once this is accomplished, the upper housing can be primed. For more information, contact your local Tandem Life representative. Tandem Life, empowering your program to deliver breakthrough performance in extracorporeal support.